Good day everyone, welcome to another episode on Kids Time on Hero TV. My name is Ebene Hita Oti and with me is Egongo Oti. So today we are going to be talking about peer pressure. Firstly, what is peer pressure? Peer pressure is when your age group or your classmate or people around you are pressurizing you to do something against your will. For example, in school there's a popular girl in your class and she like, you want to belong in her group. So she now you that before you belong, you have to do something. You know that what she's telling you to do is bad. So you have no other choice. For some people, they will have no other choice but to do what the girl asks you to do. Maybe, for example, like insulting your teacher or do something like play a prank on your teacher or something like that. You know that if you do what you are, what she asks you to do, you land in detention or in the principal's office or you have to call your parents. Why does she want to belong to the group? Why can't she not create a group for herself? Why can't she not bring people to add her to a group than being part of a group that can't? Why can't she not be a boss of herself and than being a servant of somebody else? She can create her own group. She can bring people to to follow her. Then she can also be the famous person in the school, the second famous person in the school, or the first famous person in the school, which make that other per girl jealous of her. And so what causes peer pressure? Lack of self confidence. When you're unwilling to have the confidence to talk to your classmates or to talk to your peers. I don't even know the same age you made to you. I don't even know the same class with you. Or uh-huh, like you. when you are feeling inferior. Yes. Yeah. And also low self-esteem. When you think low of yourself, you downgrade yourself to the extent people are downgrading your rate and you don't really care about it. You just want to just be part of that famous girl group. In the society now, there are people that are weak, there are people that are firm, there are people that are easy, that are gullible. That is that they answer whatever somebody tells them. You should make your own decision in life. Don't let people make decisions for you. For example, you like you are not wearing a ring like me. I'm not wearing a ring. People are like, why don't you wear a ring? Are you not a girl? People used to wear a ring. Like some of them who wear those fancy earrings and all. But me, I already made my own decision. I don't wear a ring because to me it's painful on the ear. <laughs> Even though someone forces me to do it, it's what I want that I do, not like what people want. I'm not trying to impress anybody. It's my own life that I'm living in my own. Like another example in school is being disrespectful to your teachers. Like you have, you have to break the record of being disrespectful. So that what some okay, let me say that you want to join a group. So the leader of that group asks you to be disrespectful to your teacher. But you think that it is so you you can't do it, it's very bad. But because you have, you want to willingly join that group, you want to join so you know you'll not be feeling left out. So you have to go and be disrespectful. Or you can talk about disrespect dis- disrespecting your elders at home. Like when someone just that when you abuse your parents, talk ill of your parents, which um, you still like when your parents are talking, you mumble back or you talk in your mind because you know that that is what your friends are doing. So you want to copy what they are doing. You are like, it's not by force for you to answer what they are saying. They are, pre- they are pressurizing you that you can even be rude to them and everything. Like, so there are some bad friends, but there are some good friends that will tell you the right thing to do and what not to do. That you should keep quiet, that if they're talking to you, just keep quiet and listen and do the right thing in life. <laughs> You should make your decision by yourself. Don't let people boss you around. Don't let tell you. Don't let them tell you that this is what you do. Just know what you do. Whatever you set your mind to, do it by yourself. You don't need anybody advice. Only goes good advice that you think that is good, Sha. That is good that you answer. So this will we'll round up on kids time. My name still remains Egongo Oti and Ebenehita Oti. Bye. Bye.